All right, guys, today we've got 2024 Fox Bro in Supercross 6. I like making these tracks. Somebody was asking me why I still play this game. Well, it's the newest one, and I just, I do enjoy trying to to make and replicate the uh, the track map for the for the race that's coming this weekend. So that's why we do it. But uh, yeah, 2024 Fox Bro, um, I did this track before MX versus ATV had their track out. So um, it was just my interpretation and whatnot. We did have to make a few adjustments, which we will talk about when we get to the video but um yeah it came out really well so let's jump into it and check out 2024 Foxborough all right 2024 Foxborough Supercross we got a track walk to go over here in first person we have Eli Tomac we'll talk about him a bit later but here we go step on step on step off triple single now that works the best off the the first turn off the starting gate but you can do it and i will show you with web a little bit later you can hit it um similar to that even when you're doing a regular full lap and then we had a triple triple single into the finish line double a roller then we cut across the start straight veer off to the right hit the super cross triple pretty easy i didn't make it too big and then we have what i decided to make a triple into a really big long section of whoops i don't know if they'll be this way you know this big this long in real life but they are on the track map here we go step on step off for a, a small step on step off and then what appeared to be kind of a wall but like kind of a double so i made it a really really short double and it works out really well in the game you just have to break pretty hard because it's into that corner um we hit the sand section and then this is where it came out really well so we double and then quad and then we have a triple double now the double is kind of small but to have some line choice there it had to be that way and i would say that's the preferred way to hit that section and i was just really happy with it it came out incredibly well and um it works great so there you have a lap now i do want to kind of talk about a few modifications i had to make the first one would be because i don't want to wait the first one would be the sand section leading up to the sand section that should just be a 180 you know we go backwards down the first turn and then that was just a 180 right away but the way we can't it, it was really weird to do that so what i did was i put a 90 a straight piece in between it and then another 90 so that isn't exactly how it will be in real life but um it worked out to do that in the game and then the other modification i had to make or decided to make was I put a small pool in between the first jump um, off the first turn and the first table because it adds that step to it because we don't really have that stepped table in the game so I decided to do that and it works out really well it actually makes quadding that table table easier so very happy with it um, people are asking how to play it. it it is on PC and I will validate it eventually I don't know when but I have been pretty good at getting around to validating them um, within a week of doing the video. So um, that's how you do it. But uh, yeah, Tomac, I know we're on web here, but Tomac, he ended up winning the race. He went 1-1-1. And you might say, well, he didn't. He went 1-2-1. Well, he did. Um, technically, he got second. Jet won the second main, but he jumped on the finish line with a red cross. A bunch of guys did. He got docked a position or two or whatever. And... Um, that gave Tomac the win. So 1-1-1. One, one, one. He is the king of triple crowns. He is so good at him. And I've been saying it every video. I've been saying. I mean, the question mark was getting bigger and bigger and bigger because we're getting to the end of the season. But I was going to say, even to the end of the season, I do believe Tomac was going to get the win. I, I think there was probably some people that weren't sure he would. But he did. He got the win. Um, tightened up the points a bit. And even if he doesn't win another race, he finally he did it. I think he wanted to prove it to himself he could still do it and he did mention he had kind of a hurt knee i believe and these really soft tracks with these deep deep ruts where it was kind of difficult for him so maybe now he goes on a tear and you know checks off a bunch of wins we don't really know but um yeah tomac got the win so webb got second and that was pretty crazy because he didn't even have that great of a night he dumped it over in one of the one of the the mains i don't know if it was the the second one or the first one but he dumped it over the third one he did quite well he ran down chase sexton and passed him chase did make 
a mistake over the Supercross triple, but I do believe Webb was going to probably get him. Um, Webb was, he looked pretty good in that final main. Um, but yeah, he got second and he really tightened up the points. It's an eight point gap and you might be saying to yourself, how? How did that happen? Well, we're going to talk about it a little bit later in the video, but um, yes, it is an eight point gap. Cooper Webb has really closed that um, with a few races, a handful of races left. And Tomac, even Tomac has really um, made strides to kind of get back into it. I believe he's like 20 points out still, but definitely was good for the points for Tomac and for sure for Webb. And then Hunter. Hunter Lawrence got third. I was so so happy for him i've been saying it for a while hunter is a rider that i really have come to appreciate um watching him ride and i really like hunter i really do he seems like such a cool dude and um his interviews are always fun and whatnot he had kind of a fun freezy joke in the in the presser after the race but um yeah hunter got third now he wouldn't have if what happened to jet didn't happen to Jet, but he ended up getting third place because of it. And I also don't believe he got docked from the finish line fiasco with the the Red Cross flag. I know Plessinger, Anderson got docked like four positions, and Webb got docked two, I think. So um, Hunter didn't get um, docked, and that helped him to get third place. So yeah, his first podium yeah his first podium in the 450s you know based off the way his season started this is huge and i know his season has been a bit overshadowed by by jet you know anyone that's moving up uh, Co uh justin cooper same same situation but hunter he's doing quite well i'm really happy to see him do well and i, I mean he's probably still a bit hurt right so what a what a beast ride from from hunter lawrence and and just really happy to see him see him do well so I uh, had to get him here in the video, and I do want to talk about this because, uh, Sean, you freaked out that I didn't mention it. Um, Ken Roxon, he had some bike issues, I believe. It was that race. It was a while ago. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was that race. It was um, St. Louis. His bike kind of had issues, and he almost had a huge crash. A huge crash, but he had a massive save and then kind of limped it around until the end of the race because it was, you know, kind of scary if you don't trust your bike over some of these really big rhythm sections and whatnot but um yeah i mean roxon did okay but he didn't do anything special really besides that big save and whatnot and he having he had bike issues but i wanted to mention it because sean you freaked out that i didn't mention he went to the lcq for the first time uh the race before so there you go sean just for you relax um here we've got justin barsha now we can talk about jet so jet went two one but i actually believe he got two two and then in the final main early on on the first lap he got ko'd he got t-boned by by barsha coming into a corner and went down and then just he was able to get back up and finish the race but um it was ugly it was really ugly i know some people feel differently about this but i totally believe that wasn't not intentional yes he came in there really hot jet turned down but also Vince Freezy was on the inside of Barsha coming in hot. So Barsha was probably thinking, I'm going to get taken out by Vince for sure. And he just didn't mean to. I really don't believe he meant to. He issued an apology. He apologized to him after the race. You could tell it just, it didn't look like, even if he has that reputation, it didn't appear it was intentional. So if you're giving him a bunch of hate, lay off him a bit. You know, it was just a racing incident. It's unfortunate, but um, it happens. So, uh, jet appears to be okay he did get like eighth place and you know think about it if it wasn't a triple crown this could have been way 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 worse i mean if that would have happened in a regular main event he would have given up more points it would have been it would have been awful i mean maybe he would have given up the lead maybe i don't remember how far back webb was but it could have been terrible it sounds like he's gonna be okay um he had that week off so i expect jet to be back in in jet form and um be fighting for this championship so yeah there was some serious drama with um with barsha and jet but uh i personally don't believe it was intentional let me know what you guys think in the comments down below also these are just some of my opinions they don't they're not it isn't a full race review i usually just kind of go over the 450s and try to cover what happened and give my opinion on some of it if you want a full race review you'll probably have to go somewhere else sometimes i cover the 250s but um, not really today. Now, uh, Kitchen did end up winning. He went 1-1-1. Looks unbeatable. He looks incredibly good on that Pro Circuit Kawasaki. 
should be the favorite to finish up the season as a champ. Um, but yeah, some crazy stuff happened. Really excited to see what happens in Foxborough. Um, open stadium. Do we get rain? <laughs> I don't know, but um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately really does mean a lot and until the next video Take it easy